Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys about the fail-safe system um, to prevent flyaways, um, hopefully from happening to you. Um, with the uh, Sima Quad as well as the Sanma uh, X5 S309, um, if you lose signal, it's the same as cutting the, the power from the remote. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do this in real time to show you guys, because I've already explained it to you on the table. You know and showing you what happens so I want to show you in real life and we're going to do that and I'm going to take it up uh, probably about 60 feet or so and then I'm going to cut the juice to the radio let it start dropping turn the radio back on and reset and uh, we'll see what happens Okay, so you're going to hear the beeps from my radio because my wife has to keep an eye on the quad here. I'm cutting the power. Now, you see the lights are flashing. Turn the radio back on. Rebind. And you can regain control of the quad. So let's do that again for you. Okay, so we're at about, probably about 70 feet. Cutting the power now. Throttle down on your radio, power up, and we're back up again. So as you can see, that does actually work. So should you lose signal with your quad, it is going to start flashing those lights because it's lost signal. I'm just going to bring this in for a landing. I'm getting good at that. Anyways, <laughs> so as you've seen it for yourself and you've heard the radio re-beeping to reinitialize and the lights were flashing only because it lost signal. So when you're out flying, this thing can go up to 100 meters, okay? But you've got to take into account that 100 meters the distance away from you. When I lost this quad the other night in the bush, okay, I was probably right at the 100 meter range or the limits whatever it happens to be, but I was also out more too. And from my deck where I'm standing now, and I'll get my wife to bring the camera over here, um, the back of the bush here, I gotta walk about another probably 60, 70 feet in, you know, to get to the creek uh, where it was caught up in the tree, okay? So you're talking another a horizontal plane. You got the vertical plane to start with when I was way the hell up there. Okay, and um, I was way, way up. And then the horizontal plane on top of that for the distance, um, that's a little bit too much for the quad, right? So, you know, I lost control, but I wasn't able to regain because I couldn't run off the porch fast enough to, you know, do that you know, little shut down and relaunch thing. So there was no way to do it. So if you're too far away distance on horizontal and your vertical, you're kind of screwed. Okay, so you may not be able to do that, but when you're not that far away and you're up on the vertical plane and then the distance from me to where the quad was from the deck to where you saw the quad, I mean, that's, that's maybe about 50 feet, okay, away on the horizontal, and then I was up about, you know, 70, 80 feet, which is that big tall tree there, okay, and um, so, you know, I mean, that's maybe even closer to 60 feet, rough guess, right? So that's just a, a test here at this height. Um, and you're able to regain, you know, so you get the idea of how this works. And like I said before, not all quads can do this, but the Saima X5C-1 upgraded version, because that's what I have, will do it, as well as the uh, Sanma S309 X5 quad. So anyways, guys, that's it, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next vid.